The person who discovered the hydraulic system was truly a great individual. He once noticed that liquid cannot be compressed. Taking advantage of this principle, the engineer filled a pipe with liquid and placed pistons at both ends of the pipe. When the piston on one side was pressed down by one inch, the piston on the other end moved up by one inch. This meant that no energy was lost in the process. Later, a pipe was designed with four additional pipes connected to one end. When pressure was applied to the master piston, it moved down by four inches, and the four pistons on the other side moved up by one inch each. This demonstrated that the force was equally distributed among all four pistons. However, if the size of the pistons is changed one being smaller and the other larger, the system still works. When pressure is applied to the smaller piston, it moves down by four inches, while the larger piston moves up by one inch, but with four times the power. This system is used in vehicle braking systems where a master cylinder is connected to smaller cylinders. When force is applied to the master cylinder, it is distributed among the smaller cylinders. These smaller cylinders then push the brake shoes outward, causing the vehicle to stop. This entire system is known as the hydraulic brake.